here we go. Icebreakers. So, did everyone have a good night? Or I guess the real question, did Radovan have a good night doing all the revisions that we're going to benefit from today? I feel good about it, yeah. So there were some late night changes, but when when we really start, I will remind everybody then to reload the browser tabs, but I'm really <laughs> happy about the changes. Yeah. I think we have a good plan for today. We should do the audio check. I forgot. So remember how this goes. So me, Samantha, Radovan, Gregor is the order on my screen. One. 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 Two. 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 Three. 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 So, okay, I'm a bit lower than others. I think that means I need to make others a bit lower. Gregor sounded a bit grainy again to me. Okay, I reduced the volume slightly. Okay. The input volume. Now it sounds good to me. Should we test again? One. 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 Two. Yeah, sounds better. Yeah, yeah so it sounded a bit better. I feel like for the future we need a different audio test. They are so short, like one, two. Mm. We need words. Okay. Maybe everyone needs to sing like high and low so that we get the full spectrum mm -hmm. yeah like a <laughs> canon would be very fun we sing the jingle in the future <laughs> anyway. okay so um yeah today we've got all kinds of cool stuff here so the today's lessons have been updated similar to days one and two. It's still basically the same concept as before. So we really practice contributing to other projects on a big scale. So days one and two were all about sort of working on your own projects where you can really push directly and sort of um, like you push directly, you don't have to worry about pull requests and things like that. But today we go to the pull request and we'll actually work on some projects where everyone in the course will contribute. And these will be really cool. But you will see how that goes in a bit. So of these ice breaking questions, um, what did you have for breakfast? Or not, not that. What's the biggest, most collaborative collaborative projects you've been on? Yeah, that's the more interesting one. For me, it's actually code refinery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is the contributing to materials and all the different yeah. repositories that we have to work on different stuff. Yeah. Otherwise, I've only been working on my own, mainly, or with one more pe person. Mm -hmm. How about you? So. I was also thinking code refinery for one of the biggest things. Like I've done isolated pull requests to some bigger projects on GitHub, but it's more like a drive-by contribution than long-term <laughs> collaboration kind of stuff. So I think code refinery still is it. Uh, Gregor, what about you? I'm not sure how many collaborators code refinery has, but um, I would mention mention Plasma Pi, which I just checked has 125 collaborators. Mm. I implemented some features for that library. Oh, nice. So I would say that's the one. Did this use the pull request kind of workflow or how did you contribute there? Yes, it does. And it's actually very formalized. So I learned a lot there. Ah, okay. It's like they have templates all the... for, sorry. It's like they have all these rules and templates and this is how you should do it and 
what you need before yeah. you submit and so on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are very helpful. Yeah. And Radovan, what's your biggest projects? Oh, maybe it's now Code Refinery. So I was collaborating to some uh, projects with over a longer time with maybe 20 active developers. Mm -hmm. It wasn't very formalized. So no, no issue templates or pull request templates, but using issues and pull requests or merge requests. So these, these projects are actually on GitLab, but it's really the same workflow. And then I like, I like your term drive-by contribution. So I have a couple of, couple of drive-bys where <laughs> I appeared, I did a little thing and then Oh, but these are projects that I'm using and where I, I sent in a small small change. Yeah. And then lots of uh, own projects. And some of them get the occasional drive-by pull request from somebody else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And will you talk later about how the pull request kind of workflow has made these large projects possible. Well, I think we will get there. We will nicely build it up from yeah. um, like a smaller group. So today we will start with with a with a setup that can work well if you are two people or more, mm -hmm. and we will work towards a scenario where you will be able to suggest changes to basically any project. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We will not go into the very formal template because that depends on the project. And um, then one also, really the big projects, they have contribution guidelines that one should read. Mm -hmm. So we will not go through into that, but at least we will learn all the techniques. Yeah. We will also discuss them later today on even how to approach a project of somebody else. Like if you have an idea or you have a question or you have a suggestion, like how to do that in a good way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Should we start then? So yep. do we go to whose screen? Samantha's My screen. Okay. Are you sharing now? Yes, I'm sharing. Yes.